It's the PlayStation Experience 2015 Livecast Day 1. What an amazing, amazing keynote. I'm Anthony Carboni, here alone for right now because everybody was in at the keynote. Sid is going to be joining me in just a moment. I believe Sean Layden's going to be heading down to talk to us about all of the amazing stuff that we just saw up there. I, it was like hit after hit after hit just from Go. Let's let's kind of go back over some of the amazing highlights of this thing. Uh, first of all, uh, like Meredith was saying, Fang, PlayStation exclusive character to Street Fighter V. We got Battleborn with an exclusive beta character for PlayStation players. We got Toby, who is a penguin in a mech suit, because Gearbox, because Gearbox. Uh, there was an amazing. There was an amazing announcement, two amazing announcements that really changed my life. And Sid is just running up now, so I can break down over these announcements, and Sid can just keep the thing going. Because Sid, I had a dream, Sid. You had a dream. I had a dream that I saw Mizuguchi in a yeah. silver suit. I'm going to join you over here, actually. It's a little more cozy. I had a dream that Mizuguchi was in a silver jumpsuit playing Res in VR. You didn't have a dream. That was reality. With a brand new area. <laughs> area X. It's, it's not just Res, which number one, Res is one of the most amazing games of all time. I know you're a huge fan. Huge, huge fan. Res kicked off anything that you play now that is basically a mix of rhythm and anything else. Rhythm and shooting, rhythm and action, rhythm and puzzle, any of that stuff came from basically Mizuguchi and Res. It sure that did. That is where it all came from. And to see that it's happening not just in VR, but happening in VR with a brand new area oh, that yeah. we have never seen before. Now, you were telling me last night that you've picked up Res on like every console that's ever been available. I've had Res on the, on the Dreamcast, I've had it on the PS2, and I had Res HD. All right, I very had good. All of them. All of I'm them. going to get this one as well. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, strong show, I think, overall for uh, PlayStation VR as well. A lot yes. of PlayStation VR games. We saw kind of this crazy vision of what might be possible with VR. Dr. Rick Marks was up on stage there. That... 100 foot. Robot golf. That's a big one. 100 foot robot golf. The title <laughs> is also the game. It's a promise, Sid. They had me at robot golf. <laughs> yes. They had me at 100 foot. Yes. And everything, you add it all up, it's a must buy, I think. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, tons of amazing showings at VR. Uh, I mean, Amazing showings for everything. Everything. There was amazing a showings for the PS4. Amazing showings for the, like the Vita. Uh, as indeed. Well. Yes. Uh, Nuclear Throne. Yeah, that's out today. today. That's out today on PS4 and Vita. What's so cool too fun. is uh, it was a lot of fun for me to get up on stage there uh, with with uh, our, our our favorite Nick Sutner, our yes. favorite bearded gentleman. And uh, actually, for everyone who's here at the show in San Francisco at PlayStation Experience, they're all going to be getting. Nuclear Throne, and The Bit Trip, which is uh, six of these classic games all combined into one. They're gonna, but they'll get both of those games for free. So awesome. So cool. And uh, if you are at the show and you're catching this, you can uh, download the Experience PlayStation app. It's on PlayStation Blog, very easy to find. And that'll have full details if you look under the rewards section. Mm -hmm. So, But also, like, just giant announcements from giant games and giant franchises as well. Started off the whole thing with <laughs> Call of Duty 3. Yeah, actually, even before that. Final Fantasy VII Final Remake. Fan How could you forget that one? What? That was not, that was out of nowhere. That was out of left field. I mean, I think E3, this E3 2015, we got Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake confirmed. The fans, uh, this is like a fan dream come true. And yeah. we saw this sort of initial teaser cinematic, but we saw gameplay yeah. today is what it looked like. Yeah, E3 was basically just these just sort of like this slide, this Ken Burnsy slideshow of Midgar, right? And like that's what we saw, and we were like, okay, they've started it. It started. Yes. But this, just months later, we're seeing gameplay. We're seeing uh, the fighting system, which looks to be more along the lines of a modified Kingdom Hearts or uh, the new Final Fantasy yep. fighting system. So we're seeing like a lot of changes. We're seeing the progression of this game very yep. quickly, much more quickly than I would have thought. Definitely, and it looked great. I know it's early. It's it's we don't know when it's coming yet, mm -hmm. but uh, look it looked really good, and and the crowd went bananas for that one, as you might sure. expect. Uh, There's a lot of other great stuff too. I mean, it's I'm, it's it's it, on and on. I mean, of course, we got to talk a little bit about Paragon. Now, I yes. was ducking out. I was in the in the hallway, so I only caught a glimpse. Of it. What did you, what did you catch there? I know this one has a strong MOBA influence. Yeah, it kind of came out of left field for me to see Epic making this MOBA, but it looks really amazing. I mean, it's 
it's got this gorgeous look to it that I absolutely enjoyed right off the bat. Yep. Uh, and then as it kind of like as it kind of faded up, and I'm just looking, and I'm like, I'm seeing lanes, and I did not expect to see lanes. This came out of nowhere for me. Yeah, it's a it's a real MOBA, but I mean, I think what what Epic is going for is this is sort of the MOBA that anybody can play, mm -hmm. that anybody can appreciate. Uh, and, and we saw a few other games that have MOBA influences too. Of course, we got a big update on Battleborn. Randy yes. Pitchford from Gearbox up on stage, walking us through that one. Toby. That's right. The Toby. Beta, the, be the, beta, <laughs> the beta's coming first on PS4. I know that was one big piece of yes. news that came out of that. Um, yeah, I mean, just a lot to take in. I mean, my, I'm still processing. Sparrow Racing League. That's huge. That's huge. Whoosh. Indeed. Now this is another Sparrow one. Sparrow Racing League. Since the game launched, yep. I was like, look at these gigantic yep. long pathways, you know, and you bring out your sparrow. Your sparrows are not really used heavily in combat areas. Yep. They're not used. I'm like, what is going on with this? Yep. And I was like, I'm gonna be able to race these. When am I going to be able to race these? <laughs> the answer is in a few days. And very shortly now. Which is awesome. And we are actually gonna have a new look at that as well, right here on PlayStation Live. Cats, a lot of good stuff coming up here yeah. today, very shortly. We're gonna have Hitman, they're gonna come up, they're gonna show us some new stuff from Hitman that's coming to PS4 soon. We have uh, yeah, Paragon stopping by. They're that's gonna awesome. have never before seen gameplay. That's gonna be brand new. We're gonna see it here first in just a few minutes. So uh, folks, if you're watching, you should uh, stay tuned. Absolutely. Indeed. Boy, lots to, uh, lots to digest. There's so many good things. Yeah, I mean. Psychonauts is in VR too, you Psy guys. Psychonauts coming to VR, that's what? huge. Big, you know, honestly, big uh, show for Double Fine. Yes. Big show. Day Absolutely. of the Tentacle. Full Throttle. Yes. Which came out of left field. The cult classic. He has hinted before. He was like, oh, there's, there's like one more game that I would, that I would remake yeah. if I could. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he was hinting that to, to me just like, a couple months ago at IndieCade. He's like, I think there's one that I'd like to do. I was like, I know what you want to do. I know what you want. <laughs> I want, you, I want you to do it. Yeah, yeah. I want you to do it. And he is. That's right. Amazing. So Day of the Tentacle remastered, full throttle. Obviously, the other night at the, uh, the Game Awards, he announced uh, there's a Kickstarter for oh, Psychonauts Fig. 2. Or, or sorry, Fig, yeah. yes, indeed. There's a crowdfunding campaign yes. for... Uh, for Psychonauts 2. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how, and that's performing very well. I'm having a surprisingly hard time convincing my wife to cash in our savings and sell everything we own to just invest in Psychonauts <laughs> too. I'm trying to explain to her that this, this is our future and we need to take it seriously. And we need to take all the money we've invested in everything else, all $57 that we've put together <laughs> over our working lives, yeah. and put it into Psychonauts 2. It's a good investment. She doesn't seem to think so. I can't figure it out. It's a great ROI on that. I think so. Oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> boy, what else did we miss? I mean, uh, I know there's a lot of games launching today. Guns Up is out today. Guns Up is out today. Uh, we saw Nino Kuni 2. Yes. Which yes, is yes. huge. That's, That's a beautiful looking game. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I mean, the first game on the, on the PS3 was obviously incredibly gorgeous. One of the best looking games on the PS3. It was. This looks even better. Even better. I mean, we're getting to the point now where I genuinely feel like I'm watching a Ghibli film when I'm like, <laughs> when I'm looking at it, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm just not like, this is, this looks like a Ghibli. No, this is, is yeah. a Ghibli film. Yes, what yes. is going on? It's crazy. Yeah. And, and I love that that one came out. Uh, oh, that, hey, Mer. That, hey, Meredith. Oh, hey, Meredith here. Molinari. Yeah. I literally just like, oh, God, I'm here. This place is it is jam-packed. Oh there are thousands of people here. What is the bit that made you squee? Because you know it was res for me, but what was it for you? For me, honestly, surprisingly enough, Modern Zombie uh, Taxi Company. That freaking game looks Meredith, so are you wearing a microphone you, while you're yeah, talking to us? You mic'd here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ran all the way down here, so excited. <laughs> Go get a microphone. Go get a mic. I'll just, I'll just lean in. Go get a mic. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll see you in a minute, yeah. So, so lots more to... There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. So say again what you love. What made me squeak was, uh, surprisingly enough, I had no idea. I had never heard of this game before. Mm -hmm. Modern Zombie Taxi Company. Uh -huh. Yes. It's yes. so adorable and stupid <laughs> and funny. And I was sitting backstage with Scott Rohde. Just going to drop, drop that right there. And we were laughing our butts off about that game. It's the hysterical. The moment where he looks over, where the, where the zombie driver looks over, and his zombie kid is just sitting there with his head <laughs> flopping. <laughs> was so hilarious. So or the much, zombie baby coming at yes. you at the very, very end. So much good VR stuff. Yeah. So much good VR stuff. And, you know, like they said when they came out and they were doing the initial demo, it's so hard to show off VR it's without actually getting people into it. But I felt like even if you have not gotten into a VR helmet, it would have been very hard to watch that roll of clips 
and not get excited about those games just on their own. Right. I, I don't know if you guys mentioned this already, but I was totally blown away by Psychonauts Rhombus and the Ruin. Mm. Yes. I mean, that going to be VR? Yes. Did you, did you notice <laughs> was the, that uh, what made you squeak? Yeah. Did you notice the uh, the telltale uh, pose that the lead character struck there? Yeah, the Palmer Lucky cover. <laughs> <laughs> Raz was doing his Palmer Lucky impression. I great. love that. That was funny. Great sense of humor there. What yeah. was your favorite VR moment? Ed? Oh boy, my favorite VR moment. I mean, I mean, Res uh, Infinite. Res Infinite. Res Infinite. 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 Uh, Which I, is not. Some people have been asking me on Twitter already uh, if it's VR only. It's not VR only. Right. Uh, but there is. You can play it in yep. VR. And I think it's like a match made in heaven for VR, Absolutely. frankly. Absolutely. And uh, that, that crazy suit, that was something else. I don't know what that was. Yeah. He loves, dude, Mizuguchi has always done that, though. He's so, you remember when he was showing off the first red, he dyed his hair like silver, like bright, glowing, shiny silver to show off Rez the first time. He, he loves that stuff. He's uh, a showman, that guy. He is quite the showman. He's a, he's a very nice guy, though. Very soft-spoken, modest, you know, but he, uh, he's got a flair for the dramatic, let's Definitely. say. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. A lot of great stuff, though. You guys gave away some cool stuff on stage. It was nice seeing you and Nick up there. Yes. Nuclear Throne today. Nuclear Throne today is great. Uh, knowing that Bastion is, you know, coming to the Vita is great. That was cool to see G up there. I, I love the Vita so much, and it was cool to see him announce a bunch of titles. Hey! Oh, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I took I'll, the man's I'll, seat. I'll take the hit here. I apologize. Please. Please. Squish down, squish down. Please, sir. Hey, guys. Hey, we were, we were just raving about everything that was going on up there today. It was amazing. It was so good. And who doesn't want to be a 100-foot robot? 100-foot <laughs> robot? You know, <laughs> I have such a Napoleonic <laughs> complex. Being a short girl, I am totally going to be a 100-foot robot. I'm going to play some golf and try not to break everything in my living room. Why that game has never been made before <laughs> is beyond me. But now it's there. It's in PlayStation VR. It's going to be just mind-bending. It's the, the title itself is the elevator pitch. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to hear anything no. else. Well, those guys, I mean, Roundabout was this kind of th this kind of sleeper. It had definitely like a cult following. It did very well. Uh, streamers loved playing Roundabout. It was yeah. so much fun. These guys have such a great flair. Like, you're looking at it at home and you go, okay, it's funny, it's cute. But when you play Roundabout, it was very, very solid mechanically, too. Mm -hmm. They make these games mm -hmm. that are hilarious, but also just so much fun to play. The gameplay hooks are amazing. And so I know we're seeing this bombastic, right. like crazy <laughs> robots and corgis and whatever, <laughs> but I also know because it's them, yeah. it's going to be an amazing game the to play. The tight, the physics are tight. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. what, what else, like, what else would, for you hit your personal button? I mean, I know you knew all this stuff was coming in advance, but what did it make you feel great to see up there? Well, the thing that made me feel the greatest to see was getting on that stage and seeing over 5,000 fans yeah. who had come here together to be with us for PlayStation Experience. Um, last night, we were leaving the, um, the show. Everything was buttoned up. It was about 11.30 at night last night, and there were already like 10 or 12 people in line. Yeah. We got a chance to talk to them and make sure they had a blanket, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> You have, you, have, you have a jacket. Um, but they were there, they were ready, they wanted to go. Yeah. Um, all through the night, people started clamoring together. We opened the doors early, we filled up the, uh, the auditorium uh, before the show began. It's just remarkable. It's, um, we did it for the first time last year. Uh, we've done it now the second time. I think this has to be an annual event. Oh, for sure. You're here. For sure. You're on the record, Sean. I'm yeah. on the record. Yeah. To all the guys on my teams, get ready. Your December is going to be like this. <laughs> well, Sean brings up a great point, and I've, I've been talking to some of these guys, and we have so many guys and gals that are coming from all, all over, over the country. All over the world. All over the world. I mean, I was talking to somebody who, come from, who, who I know from Twitter. That's what's so fun for me, is I know a lot of these guys from Twitter. Right. And one of them came from Louisiana. One of them came from Missouri. One of them came from Washington. Mm -hmm. I mean, whole mobs of them are coming from the East Coast, from the Southeast, from the Southwest, yep. all over the country, all over the world. And, and they're so happy to be here. I mean, this is so exciting for them. It's, and that's what makes it so exciting for me. Right, and video gaming brings them all together. It does, it does. Uh, it's going to be two days of just crazy, uh, crazy madness, two floors filled with uh, kiosks and playables. Uh, the new titles we saw today, I can't tell you. That ending, that closer from Epic yes. for Paragon, um, we'd actually talked, you know, a typical show, I, I do the opening, I do the closing. 
But that Paragon video is so powerful, I didn't want to go on after it. Nice. <laughs> you know, when that video ended, you didn't want me coming over going, well, thank you for coming. <laughs> Please enjoy the game. Yeah. It's like, let that thing close it. That's a drop the mic moment. That was fabulous. I'm really happy the guys at Epic are, are going to bring that to PlayStation 4. Sure, for sure. And Sid, you were saying they're coming by uh, today, They're coming yes? by soon, actually. They'll be here in a few minutes. They've got a lot of new stuff to show. Great. Hitman's going to be coming up first. They'll be here soon. Uh, they've got new trailer, new gameplay, a lot of new stuff going on there. So we have a we have a lot of content over the next two days. So if you're not here for the show, don't worry about it. We got you covered. We got a lot of great content, developer interviews, uh, behind the scenes that are exclusively debuting on here. Almost everything you're gonna see on here is gonna be brand new mm -hmm. and, and separate from what you saw on that big two hour keynote. So uh, lots to see and do. Yeah, this is the kind of show that starts with a man in a silver jumpsuit in virtual reality. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's like how we warm up. And mizuguchi san came from Japan to do that. For I me. love it. I love, I love it. That yeah. suit that suit was amazing. So, I mean, there is a bundle that's going to come with the suit, right? Like, you're working on that. I think there is a connoisseur bundle that yeah. we'll have to put together. <laughs> if we can get Daft Punk to sign off on the trademark. Yeah. Sure. La laser beams as a, you know, as a downloadable content. I'll do it. That's, just think about maybe holiday bundle next year. That's all I'm saying. I think it is a stocking stuff. <laughs> Yeah, just tons of stuff. You know, great show for PlayStation VR, too. Uh, really kind of came into its own, I think, here. A lot of content. We're starting to really get a good sense of what some yep. of that content is. Not just 100-foot robot golf, but uh, Res Infinite, mm -hmm. Infinite, and uh, it, well, uh, well, Eagle, Fly. Eagle, Fl Eagle yeah. Flight. Eagle Flight. Eagle Flight looks yeah. great. Gollum looks amazing. Oh, yeah, I Gollum. Mean, yeah. What I loved about this, uh, about the VR segment that you guys put together, is that you're showing off the breadth of different experiences. Because I think that's so important right, right now. The technology is so early. Mm -hmm. So many people, like we were just talking about, haven't had the chance to put one of these helmets on. So you really have to show that this is something that you can have all of the different kinds of gaming experiences that you're used to, plus a bunch of new stuff, right. too. Right. And I think you guys did a wonderful job with that. And we're only starting to paint from that palette. Mm -hmm. you know, a year from now, two years from now, we're going to see things we didn't even imagine were possible. That's what VR is creating, an entirely new platform uh, for, 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 for the creative artists, and um, we're really excited about that. I know what I'm really excited about is actually getting out on the floor and some of these people that have not been able to try it, because you don't know what it's like, and they said that at the very beginning. Until yeah. you actually do it, you have a really hard time understanding exactly what it is. And so I cannot wait to get in there and interview some of the uh, some of the fans here after they've had a chance to play a game like Riggs. I know we have a huge setup for yeah. Riggs out there on the floor. And like to get their reaction after they come off, they're usually just kind of wide-eyed and a little stumbly. <laughs> and, like, I don't know what just happened, but I love it, and I want to do it again. Yes, so and all, I, and I all love seeing that excitement. VR, we are taking your picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are watching you gesticulate in space like That's that. That's just gifts of everybody as they come off. You get, hand, a, you get handed a link to gift. a gif of yourself <laughs> just in a VR helmet. It was so great seeing Adam Boyce doing the, uh, the job simulator thing. I really, yes. I don't know what he was doing in there, but it was. Well, it was you should have seen the gifts that were NSFW that we couldn't show up there, but. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, he didn't have to play it naked. <laughs> That's not important. Like, you don't have to play PlayStation VR naked. We just told boys that. And he no, bought it. No one knows when you're naked in PlayStation VR. Nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really got to hand it to him, too, because doing a live demo um, on stage of VR is so difficult. And it was really cool. I was watching on Twitter. A lot of people were giving them a lot of props for even attempting to do a live VR demo. Yes. And I, I thought it was great. I, I do want to get up there and throw Frisbees at my friends. And those guys just coded that together in the last four or five years. That's what they were saying. Yeah, they just, just, just wanted that. Oh, wow. That's yeah. amazing. That's what they do in Magic Lab. They create all the happening. Before I go, just a couple of the shout outs. Yeah, if I please. Um, for all the talk about where are the JRPGs, I think we started with a great remake uh, reveal for some gameplay for FF7. Yeah. That was fabulous. Fabulous. And um, Nino Kuni, I was blown away. Nino Kuni too. Yeah. Yeah. It looks unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievably That good. is level five. That's, yes. That's what you get, right? 100% beautiful. Beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. I, I thought it was a great show from beginning to end, man. I yeah. thought there was, there was not a dull moment. There was a squeal moment every couple minutes. <laughs> every new video that started Something was just like, for everybody. Ah! Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, it was fabulous. And Gio was out there talking to Vita. We've got new Vita content coming yep. out, which I think is important. So exciting. Absolutely. You know, we've, we've covered all those bases. Yeah, and I'm checking uh, PlayStation blog right now just to get caught up because there was so much. I have to remind myself of everything that, that was discussed what just happened today. There, yeah. yeah, so uh, Guns Up out today. That's free yep. to play. It's actually really addictive, really fun. One of Scott Rohde's favorites. He's been right. talking to me about it for months. And uh, finally going to get a chance to uh, get hands-on with that. Kind of like a, a tactical RTS, kind of quick pick-up-and-play type game. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Definitely going to be diving into that one. Yeah. 
Dead Star is another one that yeah. looks great to me too. It's mm -hmm. like that, another great like multiplayer yeah. experience. And it, it pulls from that classic twin shooter, twin stick shooter shmup thing, but then it definitely has kind of like an FTL strategy vibe going on too yeah, that mm -hmm. I really love. And mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how that hybrid kind of fits together. Yeah. Yep. This is uh, checking out some guns up right here, I think. And uh, yeah, this is a, this is a really interesting one. Uh, one that's out now, one that's worth checking out. It's it's for if you're tactically minded, if you're strategically minded, uh, a good one to pick up and play. Very simple interface. Again, Scott Rohde's pick of the pick yeah. of the week, I think here. Um, oh, that was the Rohde pick, yeah. Yeah, and I know uh, we're gonna have this is from the San Diego team, San Diego Studio. We're gonna have some of those guys up here a little later in the weekend. Great. We're gonna be talking about Kill Strain. It's a MOBA they're working on. It's got a very couple interesting wrinkles and uh, lots more. So it's going to be a big weekend. This yeah. is just getting started, quite frankly. Just the beginning. Yeah. Just the beginning. <laughs> and who didn't love the uh, the Sparrow Racing League? Oh, boy. We were that, talking about that earlier. That yes. got a big hoop, that got a big hoop and holler. That's one that I remember when Destiny first came out, people said, boy, they got to do like Sparrow Racing. <laughs> first time I got, when they when they first gave me my Sparrow and I used it the first time, I want to race and you're thing. going down like one of those long paths, I'm like, these right. paths are here for a reason. <laughs> They're here for a reason. I cannot wait. It's all in the grand design of bungee yes <laughs> yes yes that massive bungee brain all these things are happening yeah. well i'm going to hit the floor very good games myself thank you for letting me cut in yeah absolutely thank you for thanks by. for coming by thank you for not making me eat hot chili pepper right. <laughs> that's later that's later in the week <laughs> okay. I'll look to it. Yeah. all right you guys thanks thank for that take, all right, care. take care thanks for coming by thanks, guys whoops you're good all right all take right care. take care Come on back, Sid. Yeah. Come on back. You know, I, I think I can move when the uh, president and CEO of uh, Sony Computer Entertainment drops by. Yeah. I, I, I actually think you're going to get a talking to you for not giving him the chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It feels like the boss gets the chair, and I feel like you kind of you messed that one up. The man in my ear said it would make a better shot if I sat over there. So I said, you know the man, The man in your ear doesn't have to go to the office on Monday. That, 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 that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, so I think we have a lot of stuff coming up. We've got Hitman coming up really soon. We've got uh, Paragon stopping by, new gameplay. It's gonna be, you, nobody else has seen this before. You're gonna be seeing that here, it's an exclusive. It's awesome. I think what we're gonna be doing is checking out, getting a look at the show floor as people are starting to file in. There's yeah. a lot of people. There are so well people. north of 10,000 people here. I don't know what the final tally is. I think we're still getting that information, but th this place is packed and there are a lot of games and there's a lot of square footage here for these guys to explore. And by the way, if you're here, you can, and, uh, you poke around, scour the show, look for these exclusive PlayStation collectible cards that we've got. There's 35 plus in all. There's trophy cards for using the Experience PlayStation app. There's a lot to see and do. Some of them, some of the cards are hidden in the plaster of the walls. You will need to take a sledgehammer <laughs> to the walls. He's lying. Some of, Stop some of the trouble. thing, if it looks like it's flammable and it might have a card in it. He's a lie. Okay, Don't listen I'm lying. To He's made out of lies. Don't I don't know where they are. Uh, no, no, you'll, you'll, you'll earn these <laughs> cards. You'll earn these cards by playing games. Oh, okay. Yes, by playing playing games, you got it. By seeing panels, we're gonna have our first panel coming up. That makes soon. a lot more sense. Our first big panel that I'll be uh, co-hosting with my brother in arms, Mr. Nick Sutner. Oh, well, 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 and what could that panel be, Sid? It's about PlayStation VR. Love it. Love Wonderful. it. That'll be uh, coming up here, 2 o'clock Pacific. We're going to run that live on this feed, so you will watch it. Stay tuned. Uh, we're going to have six panels today. I'll run through them if you'll indulge me. I would love it. PlayStation Please. VR is going to be at 2 o'clock to about 2.45. Okay. Then we're going to do one that I know people are going to want to see, Uncharted 4. Yes. The cast is coming. Tales from behind the scenes of Uncharted 4. That's going to be one you will definitely not want to miss. Then we're going to shift over to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The Treyarch team, they're here. They're actually, this is an interesting one. It's kind of an intellectual one. They're talking about the nature of artificial intelligence and all the hard work that they had to do to get four-player co-op working in the campaign mode in Black Ops 3, because actually not an easy feat. Yeah, so no, that's awesome. It's kind of an interesting one. Then after that, we're going to do, boy, oh boy, let's see here. Greg Miller, how could I forget? Greg Miller. Trending gamer, next. Greg Miller. Aww. That's right. Greg Miller and the Kind of Funny ga Games guys are coming. They've got PS I Love You, their famous podcast. They're doing it live here at PlayStation Experience. That'll be on the third floor if you're here. If you're watching live, watch live. You can watch it live right here. Yep. And uh, after that, we're going to have the, our own Ryan Clements, the powerhouse, mm -hmm. is going to be doing a panel about the future of storytelling. And that's got a who's who. Uh, of, of, of gaming storytellers on it. Corey Barlog, it's got Genova Chen. Greg Kasavin. Greg Kasavin. And somebody from Media Molecule, I forget the name, but uh, stay tuned for that. That's going to be good. And then finally, we'll close all of this out with a Fighting Games The Next Generation panel where Ono and Harada from Tekken, Ono from Street Fighter, nice. Harada from Tekken, and Mr. Seth Killian. 
Nice. No, wonderful. Seth? Yes. yes. Seth has a new gig. He's working on a new game called Rising Thunder. Looks amazing. It's I got a, to play a little bit of it. Did you? Yeah. Really? It's a very unusual take. Mm -hmm. Um, he's a friend of the family. We were talking about philosophically where fighting games are going to go. They're getting bigger. They're getting, you know, more competitive than ever with Capcom Cup, which is going on here tomorrow at PlayStation Experience. So it just seemed like a great time to check in on kind of where things are headed uh, for fighting games. And everybody who comes to the panel gets one of those pairs of Ryu hands that Ono is wearing. <laughs> I, I really wish. want I those. Wish. I wish. Where did he get those? I think he had them made if, specifically if you're Ono, for you him. Get those made for yeah. you. <laughs> and I think that announcer flies with him too. Yeah, I think he does. That fighting announcer that he had when he came out, that guy like gets on the plane with him. That guy goes to restaurants with him. <laughs> just announces everything he does. So I have a I have a hard time choosing which Ono outfit because he you know he he he's into shenanigans. He's mm -hmm. always up to something when he's on stage somewhere. And I remember at the Paris Games Week keynote that happened uh, maybe a month ago, he had a little like little birdies circling his head, like on little wires. It was hysterical. I thought that one was brilliant. But he's so amazing. I loved him and Gio's little like fake fight that they did when they came out. Yeah. Like get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, Gio had a ton of stuff to talk about tonight yeah. too, yeah. just game after game after game. And what's great is, uh, in addition to broadcasting all of the panels, I mean, in between the panels, we have these developers coming by. We are showing off a lot of these games. Yes. A lot of games that we did not. Get a chance to show off in the keynote. A lot of new stuff that is going to be here this weekend at PlayStation Experience. So it's jam-packed. Saturday, Sunday, both days. That's right. You're here. Yep. We, this live stream tonight is going to be going with exclusive live content until 9 o'clock Pacific. It's here all night. This isn't another couple hours. This is like, we're just getting started. We're clocking in, Anthony. I yeah. hope you- uh, I'm ready. Hope you I, got your beauty sleep. I can <laughs> ride off the high of watching Mizuguchi in that silver <laughs> jumpsuit for the Let's next 12 hours. Let's just over and over and over. You could. That'd be great. <laughs> you could do it. I would watch. Can we make that a game? How do we make that a game? It is a game. Just him, though. Oh, just Playable him? Playable as the game. I, you put him in. <laughs> That's what you unlock in Area yep. X. You get to play as the Miz. It finally happens. The Miz. The Miz. <laughs> Outrageous. Well, uh, great keynote, mm -hmm. and we're just getting started. I mean, lots more to see and do. So uh, without further ado, I would like us to take a look at that show floor. I know people are out there. They're getting in. They're starting to play those games. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's check back in a couple of minutes. Hitman is going to be up next. We're going to get a new look at that. Stay tuned. <laughs> PlayStation.